welcome to today's SDL Trillion Docs demonstration. In this session, we will showcase our powerful yet easy content authoring platform using SDL Trillion Docs DraftSpace. DraftSpace provides easy, intuitive content authoring and editing for subject matter experts and core technical authoring teams. It simplifies collaboration processes, bringing together contributions across your organization and centralizes company-wide knowledge creation. With its whole document view and intuitive WYSIWYG interface, DraftSpace provides polished and powerful features for all authors. Now let's dive into the demo. As you can see on screen, the document I'm showing is a sales guide. This has been written by a subject matter expert from the sales and marketing team, explaining messaging regarding the sales process for this product, the X Design. I've been notified to also work on this document and may have received a link via email, which opens in DraftSpace, the online browser solution and a module of SDL Tridian Docs. The interface provides toolbars and ribbons along the top for accessing the functionality of DraftSpace, and we'll work with those during the session. One of the key things to note is as I scroll down, you will see this is a whole document view, still available in the browser for easy editing. I also have the ability to switch to a document view, which removes the white space between the components, and I get a straightforward content stream to work with. In addition, I can also open the Outline tab to see the structure of the document. Think of this as your table of contents view, being able to navigate and see how all of these individual components compile to form the overall document. You'll also notice as I scroll through that some of these items are grayed out and have padlock items. So another thing to note is the easy messaging from the system. This tells me that this content is not editable because it is in a released state. So this pain points component, I do not have permission to create a new version and edit this content. If I scroll down to target market and key audiences, we'll see here that this document is also uh, not available. This content is not available to me. This component can't be edited because it's checked out to someone else. So Michael is working on making edits to this component. We can also see that others are don't have any icons and they're not grayed out. So these are available to me to edit. But you can see the collaborative nature of the platform allowing multiple people to work on the different components within the document. You may also notice as we work through the document that the subject of the content loads as I go near it. So this is the lazy loading feature that allows us to capably handle large-scale documents and publications with many uh, components. So we're loading this into the browser when required. So we've got the structure and as we go through we can then load the components that we're working with. So now let's make some edits to the document. So perhaps I want to change the structure of the document. So let me change the order. So I've got a right hand menu here, straightforward, and I could uh, perhaps move uh, down the pain points component. And you see now it is behind, uh, beneath the target market and key audiences component. I may also want to make some other changes to the document. Perhaps I wish to pull in some content from the Tridian Docs repository. So I'm going to insert an existing topic. So content reuse is a great benefit of this type of solution. I can navigate to my folder. I'm going to go on the marketing topics. And as I do this, um, we'll be presented with the list of components and as I click on them I can get a real-time preview and I can easily find the topic that I'm looking for so I think the one I wish to use is new trends in the market I can see my preview and click insert drops it into place in the document I can easily move that where I would like it to be in my structure and now I can go about editing this so I've now reused an existing topic, but I'd like to make some, some updates to this component. So how do I do that? We can see that it's uh, not grayed out, so it's available to me. 
Um, how do I work with it? Just simple as click and typing. So I can make some edits. I can make some further edits down here as well. And you'll notice that when I first started typing it, the component became unlocked to me. So it tells me the messaging, only I can edit this document. So I, I am the one that has now got this checked out to me. I'm editing this and others would need me to save this before they could work on it. So I'm going to go ahead and make some other changes. Perhaps we want to um, add some more structure to this. So I'm going to, within my first paragraph, I'm going to uh, make this a note. So I'm going to structure and make a generic note. So you'll see the highlighting and the um, the annotation in the UI shows me that there's some structure here. I've also got context sensitive menus so I can change this generic note. Perhaps I want it to be a notice uh, so I can do that. You'll notice the menus appear here. We also have breadcrumbs at the bottom so telling us where we're working. So if I'm in my note I can also access the same uh, menu there, context sensitive, and change this once again. Other changes I may wish to make. Um, let's let's reuse some content earlier. We reused this entire component from the repository. Now I'm just going to use uh, a reference to a smaller chunk of content. So I'm going to go um, into the advanced menu, and we're going to reuse some content. Uh, again, I can navigate um, to my folders and I'm going to pick uh, this time something from our resources file. I'm going to look at our disclaimers file. So this disclaimers file has uh, these statements in it that are available for reuse. So content references like this, often legal statements, um, cautions and warnings, things like this are a great use case for this content reuse. I can insert this into my document and you'll see that it appears and it's grayed out. So this tells me that it's a reused content from another topic. So I cannot uh, edit this here. I can change. I can see the origin of it and I can see that. But I cannot edit this here. It's content reuse um, so it's locked to me and I would have to be an administrator or um, a senior author to be able to uh, actually edit this disclaimers component itself to change that topic. Other features and functionality that are very easy to apply here, uh, perhaps editing or adding in a table. So we can do um, a table from our menu. You can select the number of rows and columns. You can also go ahead if you wish and add titles. Uh, so for example, um, at the table, once I've done this, you'll notice we've got the, the menu, the context sensitive. We also additionally have a new uh, ribbon at the top, the table menu ribbon. So this now gives me access to be able to, to insert columns, move columns, split cells, the usual functionality that you would expect, all here available within the browser. Let's go ahead and put some uh, information into our table. And now let's move on to uh, maybe inserting an image. So again, a great example of content reuse is images stored one time in the STL Tridian docs. Uh, content management system and then reused um, in multiple places. So let's go ahead and add an image. Again I'm going to navigate the structure. I'm going to select marketing images and again I will get those previews. So I'll be able to see exactly which images I'm going to be inserting. Let's insert this one and it drops it right in place into the document. And this image is now being reused from the repository. We also have the ability to add new images into the repository. So what does that look like? Let's insert this one as a figure with image. 
So I first select the folder that I'd like to add it to, which is be my images folder where the other images were, of course. But the button down here for upload a new image, that's what we will do this time. So it's going to allow me to go to my um, any location. In this case, I'm going to use my pictures folder on my PC. And I can see the image I wish to import. When I do that, it's going to ask me to set the properties for this new image. So perhaps I'll give it this name. And then it's going to give me uh, the option with images of resolution and other properties. And I'm going to click cr OK to create that and add this image into the repository. So immediately it's available and now I can insert and use that within my document. Because we did it as a figure with image, we can now um, put the title in. For example, and also a description if we wish. So we've made several edits to this document. I'm going to go ahead and save these changes. So we can save over here um, for our particular component. We can save those changes there. Or we can also save everything at the top. So this is going to save uh, this component that we changed. And we also made some changes to the overall structure of the document with the reordering. Um, and so that is saving that as well. Now, as I've edited the document, perhaps I wish to make some changes to the, the overall um, the properties. So um, with this new trends in the market component, perhaps I want to go ahead and assign it to a reviewer now, for example. So I can show the properties and then be able to see all of the properties, but be able to now assign a reviewer um, to work on this. So perhaps I'm going to assign this to Chip. Now that he I've worked on it, he can come along and make further edits. And perhaps I'm going to change the workflow status from draft to be reviewed. Save those changes. Now during this session so far we've made changes to existing content. We've reused some uh, existing components. We've reused images and we've also added new images. How do we go about creating new components themselves? So I'm going to go back to my overall uh, table of contents view of the document. Um, and let's go ahead and insert a new topic close to where we've been working. So I'm going to create a new component. So the first thing, uh, you got a nice wizard, tells me that I'm going to first choose my folder where I'm going to locate it. This is going to be a topic. So I'm going to select that. Within the topic, I, the folder, I then get to create um, based new content based on a template. So here we've got some different templates. I'll actually create a task template. And again, you've got previews and also uh, information about the particular um, template that you're going to be using. And then once you've selected folder and template, you get to, um, again, provide the properties. So I'm going to call this the uh, sales process overview. And I'm going to accept the, the default properties for the rest. So this has now dropped my new uh, component. In this case, we selected a task. Again, I can, I can move it, reorder things if I wish. Um, and then I've got my task template uh, in here to create with. Now, perhaps I want to share this uh, this component or this entire document with some other team members uh, for have them collaborate uh, on this content with me. Good example here. I've just added a new component for the sales process overview, and I might like to send it to a colleague to have them actually contribute that content. So how would I do that? Well, I'm going to start by saving my changes. And then uh, for the sales process overview, I can uh, copy a link to the clipboard. 
So this link can then be uh, put into email or the system or um, provided to users. And once they get the link, they can click on it. Um, if I come out of full screen mode, and what I'll do, I'll just um, paste this directly into another browser tab. And we will see that the document loads up in SDL Trillion Docs draft space and then also navigates us directly to that particular component. Simplifying collaboration processes, bringing together contributions across your organization, and allowing you to centralize your company-wide knowledge creation. This completes our SDL Tridian Docs session for today, where we showcased SDL Tridian Docs Draft Space, our powerful and easy online content authoring platform. Thank you for your time.